everybody, Steve Patrick here, and I want to tell you about a new series, a new video series that I've made, and it's about how to pick out trumpets. And it will start with how to pick out a B-flat trumpet, whether you're a classical player or a jazz player or a commercial lead player, that type of thing. I address all of those things, and the primary goal and the, the focus of the videos are to ask you questions, to make you ask yourself questions on what am I looking for? Start narrowing it down. And why would I go for this type of horn or this type of horn? This is not a promotion of any specific uh, maker. It's, you know, I play Blackburn and Box, and this is like a, you know, a no-name Queen on Flugelhorn. It, it's, it's not about that. It's, dial, it's helping you to dial in questions to ask yourself, so that you can find the horn that works best for you. The first video uh, is about B flat, the but second. the second um, video is E flat, how to pick out a good E flat trumpet. The third video is how to pick out a C trumpet. I'm not sure if you can see these. Here's my E flat trumpet. Um, third video, C trumpet. And then I'm not sure if the piccolo trumpet is the fourth video and the flugel is the fifth video or not, but I address both of those as well. Um, and if you buy the whole series, you get a little bit of a discount. So I would recommend that for you college players and professionals because you're not sure as a college player what you might do in the future. And if you're thinking about playing for a living or if you want to play the rest of your life, this is kind of a thing where you can enjoy it more because you're better simply because you have tools in your tool belt to be the best trumpet player you can be. Um, the other thing I'd say about this is I've come to these conclusions from my own playing. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what you should be playing. I'm just going to have you ask these questions. But I'll tell you why I've come to the conclusions for myself. And I can tell you a little bit about that now. Uh, I do recording, and that's primarily what I do. So when you when you go see a show that's pre-recorded, that might be me. When you, when you hear a record, when you hear a TV show, uh, the music on that, or a movie, or play a video game, those are all things that I record. But I also play a lot of live work, a lot of church jobs, a lot of shows, live shows, uh, when they come through town. Um, all of that has, has made me have to really figure out what is the best approach to switching. So I talk a lot about a congruent way of switching horns and a lot of the video series goes into what needs to be consistent with that. Certain places of the horn that should be consistent uh, you know from a B flat to a C and an E flat so that it's easy to make that switch. Also uh, you might be the kind of player that wants to switch and have the same sound but you just, you're not, you're trying, you don't want other people to know that you switched, but you just want to have a clean, perfect performance, okay? And one horn might make that a little easier than the other, but then you switch back. Um, or you might want a Jekyll and Hyde experience with this horn sounds this way, but this horn sounds this way. So um, these are some of the things that we'll address. Kyle, will you uh, hand me that other horn really quickly? Oh! No, no, no.